Am Ende, schließlich, endlich, kehre ich um, kehre ich zurück. Letzte Nachricht der Methusalem-Mission zum Kern der Milchstraßengalaxie, 4. Februar 2001. Was ist das für eine alte Speicherdatei? Welcher Planet ist das? Flüssiges Wasser. Wind. Das Licht eines einzigen Mondes. I could not sleep for thinking of the sky, for thinking of the sky. It's an English poet, late last century. Last century. Den Nomaden dienen die Begriffe Vergangenheit und Zukunft dem Erlebnis des Anderswo. Etwas Vergangenes oder Bevorstehendes liegt anderswo versteckt. Wo bin ich? Ich kann mich nicht erinnern. Ich kann mich nicht erinnern. Memories. You're talking about memories. Es kommt langsam wieder. Erinnerungen. Aufnahmen Szenen I was rolling on the moon one day In a merry, merry month of December May, 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 May,
Jahrhunderte hinter mir in Raum und Zeit war die Erde noch ein Garten. Doch sie wussten es nicht. Oder schlimmer noch, sie wussten es, aber es war ihnen egal. Millionen von Lebewesen saßen auf der Erdoberfläche oder schwammen durch die Meere oder lauerten in tiefen Höhlen. stabilisierte die Drehung der Erde. Später lockte er die Menschen an. am Steuer einer für jene Zeit üblichen kleinen Personentransportvorrichtung wieder. zum Bildermalen verbracht hatte. Dieser Mann diente seiner Maschine. Und die Maschine wurde auf der Grenze zwischen dem Sichtbaren und dem Unsichtbaren eingesetzt, dem Statischen und dem Bewegten, dem Archivalischen und dem Realen.
einige Angehörige der Zunft durchquerten einen westlichen Kontinent in der nördlichen Hemisphäre des Planeten. this basket when yeah, it came in this it, looked like a Jules Verne <laughs> expedition but it's a real before. basket yeah Ziel seiner Zunft gewesen war. It's incredible. This is the list. So this is the list that you you, you got in Las yes, Vegas. Yes, it's for, yes, it's from our journey. Yeah, you know, Pesky Hippolyta, valid attraction. Top kicks you. <laughs> Slus pet. I should break you. Oh, Cherokee Apollo. Ah, it's, That's a good it's incredible. It's incredible, Cherokee Apollo. That's a very good. One. Yeah. Navara knockout. Navara uh, knockout. Navara knockout. Navara knockout. Huh. It's really interesting, actually, because as soon as I saw this, I realized that this is that must have been where you got it because um, it was just so funny when you were reading those yeah. names in Las Vegas. Those names were so incredible. Yeah. <laughs> but what are these white things? What are the, what is this it's, white substance? It's called kefir grains. 
And what's that? Uh, they produce, they transform milk into kefir. You know, the kefir is another kind of milky product. In fact, starting idea was uh, coming in my mind in our trip. Because when we was in Las Vegas, I saw the names of horses in casino. <laughs> I, I, I showed to him, I gave it with myself. You know, it was incredible. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Angezogen von bürokratischer Eintönigkeit. Überzeugt, das fleischgewordene Böse vor Augen zu haben. Disturb this business as usual. It's a new junta. Is that one of the elements of manifest business? Don't stop it. Stop. Zeit. 
pockets that profit, my brethren. The men say he have faith and have not works. Can faith save him? Faith without works is dead, just like you are, out there living in sin, claiming to be saved by faith, and they're living like the devil, not working for Jesus. Oh, you faith only people on your way to burning hell, you better accept the book of Festungsmauern aus Glas und Stahl glänzten in der Sonne ihrer längst vergessenen Reise. Eine Stadt auf eroberten Cherokee-Land errichtet und später von den wütenden Armeen des siegreichen Nordens niedergebrannt. I think it would be necessary now to summarize the concept and the purpose of the trip in a few words, Ella. From our point of view. For us, yeah. yeah. That we, we should a little bit discuss that. I think that the reason and the purpose of this trip is uh, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily to be uh, uh, completely uh, the same for all of us. Uh, that's why uh, everybody uh, should make its own point of view on it. But uh, for us, uh, the, the most simplest and shorter explanation would be that uh, the, the reason and the purpose of the trip is the idea of construction uh, experience. Uh, we would suggest to start this first uh, first communication with thesis that uh, difference between East and West exists. Here, art is not important. It doesn't make money. I mean, there you have to be aware that the social context gives the 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 the, 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 the position yeah. or your or on from which you can make a speech. But I actually, make a statement. Uh, when I came to the United States, I realized that for most of the artists that I met, uh, being an artist was a kind of a job. You know, it's a profession. Yeah, yeah. You have, uh, like any other yes. profession, the roles of the of the profession, and uh, there was no, in the fact, that the idea of questioning the system. The artists who were like kind of a marginal artist or kind of a avant-garde or underground, whatever, they were just by the uh, way how the, the system works were underground or avant-garde because they all wanted to get into the mainstream and become famous artists. And if they were successful and smart enough, they will eventually end up in the major galleries. Запад и э, соединение художников с Востока и Запада вот в этом проекте э, это одновременно и спекулятивная позиция и вполне рабочая позиция. Спекулятивная, потому что она э, навязывает нам стереотипы. В то же время, я думаю, что в настоящее время мир уже совершенно унифицирован, взрывет по одним законам, это законы капитализма. Auf der anderen Seite des 
sich drehen im Gartens lag eine andere Stadt. Sie trug noch die Narben der gewaltigen Bombardierungen und war bis vor kurzem zwischen Ost und West geteilt, nur teilweise wieder aufgebaut, dann wieder vereinigt. Zum letzten Mal unterzog sie sich nun einer Reparatur. der Zunft waren schon immer so unterwürfig wie kritisch. Ihre Bilder, ihre Worte, ihre Anordnungen der Dinge im Raum, der Töne in der Zeit haben das System schon immer genauso unterstützt wie hinterfragt. Der führende Architekt dieser Zeit plante seine Bauten so, dass sie eines Tages hervorragend aussehende Ruinen sein würden. Spezies hatte einen Punkt erreicht, an dem sie ihre eigene Zerstörung als ästhetisches Vergnügen erster Güte erfahren konnte. Sie waren leichtgläubig, sie waren manipulierbar. Sie waren formbar. Zu viele waren wie Kinder, die ihre Unschuld nie hinter sich gelassen hatten. Ihre kollektive Euphorie schlug sich in den bis heute erhaltenen Zeugnissen der Zunft nieder. pleased if someone at a glance reads this as being authentically fascist in its origins? You know, the problem is it's not. No, so... Oh, that's the problem yeah. that's not seen as fascist. No, the problem is that it's hey, not hey. authentically fascist by its origins. It's what? It's not authentically yeah. fascist, it's just opposite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our idea was to shape a discussion around the subject art and fascism, because our experience is that fascism is a, is a, is a very interesting uh, characterization of a certain art procedures, at, at least when some provocation happened or when new moments happened in, in a social field which the audience is still not sure if, if they want to be accepted or segregated. So I try to say as short as possible just to come in discussion but uh, just interesting because it happened just a few months ago and the uh, idea of this project come as an idea of international project 
In the central part of exhibition space, it was a big installation, work done uh, by uh, Chinese artist Wen Dagu. His uh, view of uh, collaboration, it was a corridor which made through the uh, human hair from Swedish people. So, and uh, on the opening, Alexander Brenner, who is here now, destroying this object, physically destroyed. And police come to, uh, and they try to find uh, Alexander Brenner, uh, because his collaboration was not on the law of collaboration. He collaborated in the wrong uh, direction, <laughs> his artist Van de Gaulle. So, and uh, during this moment, it was very uh, uh, high tragedy moment for, because the uh, Swedish curator come to us and tell uh, you are fascist. I hate you all. I hate you, Russia. <laughs> Для меня совершенно очевидно, что существует фашистский стиль в искусстве, который никак не связан с государственной идеологией какого бы то ни было государства. Мне кажется, что фашистский стиль в искусстве сформировался как альтернатива, как оппозиция каким-то явлениям внутри европейской культуры. С одной стороны, это можно определить как крайний индивидуализм, но если говорить о том, что совершил я на этой выставке, то я вполне отдаю себе отчет, что в этом был элемент фашизма.
But it's, I think it's a quite strange because people really need alcohol in Sunday. I think it would be more logical not sell it during the week, but sell it during the weekend, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's logical, but it's... Uh... M-E-A-D-E. How it's, how it's spelling? Is that where we are right now? Yeah, how it's spelling. Mead. Mead, yes. How, how's it spelled? You just spelled it. Yeah, but I don't know, maybe it's mead there. Well, I don't know. You mean like deep purple? <laughs> yes, like deep purple. Yeah. I recently, I, I imagine a universal, let's say, intellectual universe. It's like a system of many and many many points and this point some from these points it's a deeply individual some of these points uh, of these points it's uh, objective and these points have some kind of vibration some kind of trembling mm -hmm. but it's a vibration with diff this all time with different uh, amplitude with different mm -hmm. speed you know and we try to found some possibility for for resonance between these points to try to present it all time like some one system yes. and and also you know for instance about art i very like the uh, comparing with iceberg you know you see iceberg and you see only one tenth part of iceberg so nine tenths of part of iceberg it's a hidden yeah. and so for me when i when i come to some exhibition of art i looking for this i looking for misunderstanding i looking for something hidden Собственно, мы можем видеть э, там десятую часть, не видеть десятую часть айсберга. Нет, мы не видим девять десятых. Да, вот на какую, о какой это речи, о чем, собственно, идет речь? Саша, ask uh, if you don't see this uh, 90% of iceberg about which iceberg we are talking about. Yeah. Which, yeah. 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 What kind of vibration we can discuss? Что это? Это то, что я покушал сегодня, или то, что я подумал сегодня, или то, что я одел сегодня? И для меня лично это абсолютно открытые вещи, и они не прячутся под водой. He was the pupil of Fyodorov. Fyodorov. And the Fyodorov, it was his idea about, about resurrection. Not like Jesus Christ returned for resurrect everybody. No, it was another story. Fyodorov guessed what everything what written in the Bible and Testament about resurrection, mm. we have to understand like a real physical resurrection in our real physical body, not like some spiritual resurrection. Right. No, because further of say like this resurrection it will come because of some uh, increasing of technology power yeah. using some cosmic energy just like this but not concretely and Tsiolkovsky begin thinking about this idea and put it in some in something more concrete right. way and it, but, yeah actually there see that is the reason that I found him so fascinating later the concrete expression of this uh, spiritual idea uh, was in fact something directly usable to launch into space, to launch rocket. And that seemed to me specifically a Russian. Like, like 
in the United States, people didn't invent rockets for spiritual reasons. They invented yeah. rockets because they wanted to, I don't know why. But it seems like a, a uniquely Russian uh, story that somebody would come up with this idea based on some spiritual yeah. reasons. Yes, it's very true. Maybe and of it's course, a cliche about no, Russia, no, it's, it's not. It's very true. And of course, it's a very big deal with uh, Russian Orthodox Church because, uh, you know, all this kind of idea is coming from this. Even a few years ago, I remember me and Vadim, we have an idea to make some kind of exhibition which was like a, like a title, uh, Tsiolkovsky Nordung uh, von Braun. It's like three different uh, attitudes, like uh, Russian Orthodox attitude, Catholics and Protestants. You should, have, you should actually have uh, Tsiolkovsky, uh, Nordung von Braun and Arthur Clarke. <laughs> by Arthur Clark. So Arthur Clark, actually Arthur Clark, by the way, claims to be the inventor of the communication satellite. Die Stärke eines Pferdes war immer noch das Maß für die Kraft der zahllosen Motoren die um die Jahrtausendwende das Gesicht des Planeten verwandelten. Doch die Gezeitenkraft des einzigen Mondes des Planeten machte diese veraltete Maßeinheit schließlich überflüssig. an eine Szene am Ende eines Films. Ein Astronaut sitzt allein, essend in einem Hotelzimmer und zerbricht ein Glas. You know, it's quite a shock, that. And uh, I still don't know if it, whether it could have happened by accident. And Stanley thought that's... No, it's... it's uh, There's something about that moment.
<laughs> of my three laws, the most famous is, I think, the third law, that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And this thing you're using now is an example that I can remember when I started with 16 millimeter film, my film cassettes, which are about almost as big as that camera, had three minutes of shooting time in them. My wireless world, my notorious wireless world uh, piece. I'm sure I told you the story about its reception at the Office of the Wireless World in when I wrote my extraterrestrial relays piece, which will be in um, October 1945. But when my paper suggesting use of satellites for broadcasting arrived at the Wireless World Office, the editor sort of passed it on to the assistant editor and said, will you send our usual kindly drop dead letter to this crackpot? <laughs> And the uh, assistant editor took it back and read over it. And the next one he said, well, you know, I don't think it's crazy. I think we should publish it. And the editor said, OK, but if it is crazy, you have to find a new job. Right. <laughs> I'm very fond of quoting someone who said that a patent is merely a license to be sued. Well, and then there's the story about why you didn't patent the communication satellite. Yeah, you Oh, I lost a billion dollars in my spare time. <laughs> oh, yes, very nice, yes. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Go on. Yeah. Get any quest star out? My God. OK, I doubled the bar now. Probably I can, but it's overexposed. Yes, yes. Wait it's pretty interesting, though, isn't it? <laughs> now the problem is that the eyepiece is too—it's for the eye, human eye up close, not for a lens like this. Well, should I try to focus it, refocus it, change it? I don't know if that would help. No, no, no. But it, you know, I'm getting. Some Quotation, I wrote it in um, the 60s. Only the creatures who dare to move from the sea to the hostile alien land were able to develop intelligence. Now that this intelligence is about to face a still greater challenge, it may be that this beautiful earth of ours is no more than a brief resting place between the sea of salt and the sea of stars. Now we must venture forth. Evening on the olden, the golden seas of Wales. Well, the last light lingers in the first star. No, where the first star, the last light fails, even on the old. Day of my dreams, oh day, I saw them march from Dover long ago, monks of Rome from their home, where the blue seas break in foam, Augustine with his feet of snow. Don't ask me why Augustine had feet of snow. Would you actually see it in this light? Yeah, easily. Venus Transit, Sonntag, 8. Juni 2004.
about to present you with some Mexican jumping beans. Mira, I can open them for you. <laughs> she closed. I open. She closed. Well, put them on there, and just now put them down on the surface of the table, kind of, so to speak, table. Okay. And just wait. Don't move. I think they're in shock right now. <laughs> Is anything happening? Mm, not much. Yes. Just wait. No? I guess they're gonna jump. They're a little bit lazy. Yeah. <laughs> they ate. <laughs> they just ate. Mmm. Thank you for it. Thank you for present. Well, that was an exciting scene. This is going to be a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> decision of beans. What do you I mean? I think it will be suicide of jumping beans. Yeah. Uh, can you say your word before um, you do something? What you it will be mm. research. What kind of research? And we look about decision of these beans. Okay. Now everybody go. <laughs> Okay, okay, but you could, just don't push the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It looks like it happens not. Oh, oh, yes! Did Bean yes. jump really? The Bean yes. jump. Yes. It, it was very dramatic so what, situation. What's the interpretation? Is it with consciousness or without consciousness? Mm. But for sure it's decision because first time she make few step back, <laughs> after one forward, and it was always like in between decision. <laughs> it's true. We can check no, no, on it's camera. True. It was true. The story. Okay. I can play the whole tape for you. of any system is to be overplayed. So what system is searching for, is it's actually a pure individual, a pure victim. Yeah, that's, that's it, you know? Yeah, what, is, <laughs> yeah, what does that mean, overplayed? Overplayed that uh, when he asks, uh, you know, uh, do am I doing that for myself or am I doing that for the system? What is the system searching for is, a, is, is an artist who is, do, is doing something purely for himself. That's what the system. 
uh, that that's a tricky thing, you know. Uh, the tricky uh, vampire game. Well, you you cannot uh, satisfy uh, uh, a system, uh, art system, if you are not giving yourself. That's that's an imagination that you can just uh, make a construction and uh, I don't know a, p a p prognosis and you do some fake thing and you you are you are in you have to give yourself, but it depends how tricky you are to you know and how far you can go with it. That's I think it's it's a very very uh, na nasty game yes, with 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 which have the connections to that. And to everything, yeah, you know, but, okay, uh, with, uh, to pure ontological okay, yes, uh, yeah. issues. You say, okay, system very bad, system very vampire. No, it's system, not bad. It's like system, that. I didn't okay, say it's bad. Vampire. System no, looking I, for something which I will say, say I do bad. something for myself or take his energy. Bad. Okay, welcome. I what? didn't say it's bad. Well, yes. <laughs> no, I didn't say it's bad. It's like this. It's exist. like this. It exists and it's like this. System. Der Wüste fern kehrten die Jäger immer wieder in ihren Schnee zurück. Und dann, inmitten all der Schönheit, die dem Schrecken abgewonnen wurde, 
der Schönheit, die den Schrecken ankündigt, ein reflexartiges Bedürfnis nach Aufzeichnungen aus zweiter Hand. Ein Weg, sich das eine oder andere der zahllosen Massaker anzueignen, wenn man schon nicht versteht, was das Auge des längst verstorbenen Künstlers so präzise und furchterregend einfing, wie das zeitlose Schreckensbild von frischem Blut auf plattgetretenem Schnee. Der gleiche Impuls, sichtbare Beweise der Welt aufzunehmen und festzuhalten, beherrschte die Menschenansammlung an einem anderen Krater und das Aufnehmen der Leere in dessen Innerem.
to find out what, what is uh, what is the function of art. You know, because uh, probably this humanistic uh, point of view is not only only function it has. Probably there are some other functions. Economical. No, I would not say only economical. I I, I think that there are <laughs> other functions which are uh, much economical. more uh, much more um, not so clean, let's say. Economical is obvious, but very, very uh, important too. What do you mean, not so clean? Uh, in, in these terms of, uh, of uh, let's say, um, uh, equality, humanism, and you know all these um, um, uh, these uh, terms which are uh, somehow acceptable for everybody, you know, kind of. I think uh, uh, art has other functions too. Can you be more specific? No, hardly. I, I, I just have a kind of uh, uh, feeling it is like that, you know. In fact, uh, 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 I was very interested. Uh, uh, what in fact, uh, what is, what, what is gallery, uh, what are galleries doing, you know? Are they just selling? But it's obvious they are not just selling, just like normal shops. So what, what is, uh, how they are somehow interconnected with, with society and with each other? It's a kind of pattern which is very interesting. Seite einer echten Welt, die sich in Echtzeit drehte, hatten sie ihre Landschaft zur Platine geformt, bestimmt zur maximalen Anhäufung von Reichtum. Milliarden sammelten ihre Kräfte, um das Erbe eines Planeten anzutreten, der dem Verfall nahe war. Die Sonne ging ein letztes Mal über einem Imperium unter, das 500 Erdumkreisungen lang existiert hatte. Ersatzmacht stieg aus uralten Wurzeln, genährt von tief sitzenden Gefühlen historischen Grolls.
im arteriellen Neonlicht der verlorenen Stadt begegnete die Person, die ich einst war, einer anderen, die es einmal gegeben hatte. Mein lang vermisster Bruder, mein Kamerad, mein Doppelgänger. Hin, riet einer der klügsten Köpfe, die je den Garten betreten hatten. Ein betrunkener Mann, der aus einer umkippenden Karre fällt, wird leiden, aber nicht sterben, schrieb er. Er hat die gleichen Knochen wie alle anderen Menschen auch. Doch er erlebt den Unfall anders. Er fühlt sich sicher, denn ihm ist weder bewusst, dass er in einer Karre sitzt, noch dass er aus der Karre fällt. Er denkt nicht an Leben, Tod und Angst. Und so leidet er nicht unter der Begegnung mit der objektiven Existenz. Universums hinzugeben, dasselbe wie sich der Macht des Staates hinzugeben. Es scheint, als gäbe es einen echten Gott, doch gibt es keinen Anhaltspunkt für seine Existenz. Die hundert Teile des Körpers sind alle an ihrem Platz. Sind sie alle Diener, 
sind sie nicht in der Lage, sich gegenseitig zu kontrollieren, sondern brauchen sie einen Herrscher. Universums hinzugeben, dasselbe wie sich dem Gesetz des Zufalls hinzugeben. Well, Katie's Dynasty, Tiny Woods, Race Rosa, Bella Secret, Hallelujah Angel, uh, What's what? Dinner and dancing. It's the name of course? I guess so. Dance like Laura. <laughs> Price of gold. Skating away. Motown Philly. Navara uh, knockout. Navara knockout. Navara knockout. Right, yeah, it's like a, like a poetry. I would like to go.
It's a photograph taken in Gijandong, or as we call it, Propaganda Village. We gave it this name because of an extensively large speaker system located throughout the village. This speaker system plays propaganda 6 to 12 hours a day, normally at night here at Camp Boniface. However, if one was to defect here, they'd find themselves rather lonely, because this village is uninhabited. Now, we do see workers in here from time to time, but it's merely for the upkeep of these buildings and to rise and lower this extremely large flag. This is one of the world's largest flags and has an approximate length of 31 meters. It's also the second of two flagpoles to ever be built here in Gijandong. In 1981, the Republic donated a flagpole to Taesandong, which stood higher than the original flagpole here in Gijandong. So the North Koreans quickly responded by building an even larger flagpole. So, currently today, the flagpole in Taesandong stands approximately 100 meters in height, whereas the flagpole in Gijandong stands over 160 meters in height. The Joint Security Area is approximately 800 meters in diameter. All blue buildings belong to United Nations Command, whereas all red buildings belong to North Korea. I'd like you to note United Nations Command Checkpoint 4, now it is surrounded on three sides of North Korean checkpoints, isolated from the rest of the Joint Security Area. Checkpoint 3 had limited visibility to Checkpoint 4 due to a very large poplar tree which grew in this area. So on 18 August 1976, United Nations Command dispatched a five-man civilian work detail accompanied by a 10-man guard force to this location to do a routine tree trimming operation to improve the visibility between the two checkpoints. Work did begin as scheduled, but only 15 minutes into the operation, the North Koreans brutally attacked the JSA soldiers. The JSA Company Commander, Captain Arthur Boniface, and 1st Platoon Leader, 1st Lieutenant Mark Barrett were brutally axed to death. To give you a better idea how we're outnumbered that day, I'll point out three JSA soldiers. There's one JSA soldier here fighting off seven North Korean soldiers. This arrow points to the helmet of Captain Arthur Boniface, who was killed in front of his own vehicle. And you clearly see this North Korean soldier wielding an axe at First Lieutenant Mark Barrett, who was later on killed. Prior to going on tour, we do require that everybody read, sign, and date one of these declaration forms. This releases United Nations Command, United States Army, and the Republic of Korea from any actions that the North Koreans may take against you while on tour today. <laughs> States. Did you form a perfect union? Establish justice. Ensure tranquility. Secure the blessings of liberty to yourselves and your posterity. Go ahead. Western state. Uh, yes. <laughs> medium, medium, well, rare. Uh, normal, medium. Medium. Yeah, medium yeah. Can it potato? Yes. Yeah. With potato. Uh, uh, I don't know. an der Küste des größten irdischen Ozeans machten sie in einer anderen Stadtstation.
Я хочу сказать, что меня интересует в искусстве проблемы и рациональности, и рациональности. Я думаю, что и рациональность является основой искусства, и но пределом и рациональности является либо смерть, либо абсолютный страх. И, собственно, рациональностью является вся культура, которая имеется перед глазами. И, но мне нужно найти какие-то какие для меня важные моменты в культуре, которые позволят мне с этим заработать, с рациональностью. И есть формула, которая для меня является абсолютно адекватной, абсолютно мне необходимой. Например, сейчас совершенно очевидным является, что заповедь «не убей» не работает. Для меня совершенно очевидно, что э, ростовщичество, например, коррупция является большим преступлением, чем убить человека. Э, коррупция гораздо более отвратительна, чем индивидуальное преступление. Это решает... Это решает человеческая мысль. Who who decided? You decided? Этот вопрос решил я, но прежде чем я... Но это не каприз. Потому что... Потому что я пытаюсь держать перед глазами всю панораму современной жизни. Ты уверен, что ты успешно? Но в этом и заключается работа художника. But in this, uh, this is include uh, work of artists. But from my point, it became to be something more, it's something different and more dangerous when the work of, of artists. Because if if you say what one ethical rule means means more than another ethical rule, you can say one one human life means more than another human life. Я не думаю, что хоть когда-то я применил насилие. Что? С исключением тех людей, которые не люди. Ну, я не знаю такого человека, который был бы для меня человеком. Но я знаю среди здесь сидящих таких людей. But he knows somebody from us who is not Jewish. Yeah, but you're not Jewish. You don't know him. My relationship, for example, with Yulia, is built on the unfortunate beginnings. For example, his relationship with Yulia is based on disgusting moments. And I'm sorry that I didn't throw the first stone. Through the discussion, I have with a lot of people here. I see a lot of similarities through the position and through the ethical position as well. But I have to say honestly what after today's discussion for myself, I have not any possibility to do something together with such. Why not? Because, uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's obviously I just afraid to sit around him and to be, uh, you know, because if, uh, you know, if he could decide what I'm not not good enough in the, as, as an ethical person, or I'm a weak as, as an artist, or I'm not aristocratic enough, it means what it's possible to do everything what he wants with, with me, and I cannot accept this, this position at all. Okay, all strategies, our strategies are very different. Yeah. It's another story, you know, our strategy could be different, yeah. but if, okay, if my strategy is different than him, when his strategy, and he is the owner of ethical rule, it means what if my strategy is bad, I, I, can, I can be killed, I can be beaten, I can possible everything what he wants to do with me. Yeah, that's, that's very important I mean, moment. If you don't yeah, solve okay, this problem, right. you These cannot uh, work together. I don't want what my, you know, what yeah. my work was be yes, destructed I... as work when they go and, and so on due to some, due to some ethical reason. I just don't, don't want it. Fleischgericht.
Gewordene mit einem Bewusstsein versehen der Materie. Erinnern sich deine Sinne noch an das Pulsieren beseelten Lebens? Erinnerst du dich an die vielen verzweigten grünen Äderchen auf den Blättern, das Scharren der krallenen Wurzeln und Erde, die Gleichzeitigkeit und Größe aller Schöpfung? Ich rede vom fast vergessenen Garten, einer Arena der Macht, Grausamkeit, Schönheit und Erlösung. In der Erinnerung strahlt die Arena unter dem Krater übersäten Mond. Day. Yeah, and the guards called me and said, well, you come immediately be down because there's this guy who sprayed a painting. So I went down. And he says, I have made a long preparation for this performance. And then he speaks about this special painting. It's white, which means it's uh, pure. But because uh, I called one of the restoration uh, persons immediately, yeah. uh, she came, and because the paint was still wet, so she could take most of it away. Right. But because he used a spray can, it went into the cracolé of the painting, right. and you can never remove that. Well, the police came and uh, they gave his passport. And then I, then I saw in the passport, because I didn't recognize him from his face, that it was Brenner. And then I knew enough. How you doing? Well, 
And you never met him before. Well, I saw him once do a performance on Pushkin Square in Moscow, where he fucked his wife at 20 minus. <laughs> and I had photographs of that. Well, 18 months, 18 months, 18 months yeah. in jail. But uh, conditionally, is it called conditionally? Yeah. So that means that uh, that he, because he, he gets six months unconditionally. His message is so stale. I mean, if you say at the end of an interview with a weekly, make peace, not war, then I say, okay, you've been wrong, born in the wrong period. <laughs> in the wrong place. Maybe, I mean, if you go for the ideal, which is May 68 in Paris, and that you say that art is, was in the street at that time, well, I've seen the, the, the things on TV. It was not really art on the street, just fighting between police and students, that was it. There was nothing like art in the streets. Doch manchmal, wenn es um Kunst auf der Straße ging, bedurfte es jahrzehntelanger Übung. Nicht die neuen Konflikte der westlichen Kontinente, sondern die alljährlichen Wiederholungen in Seoul. Zusammenspiel eine Generation von Polizisten und Studenten parallel zum Fluss des Universums. Hierbei wechselte die Macht nahtlos zwischen Vertretern des Neuen und des Alten hin und her. Ein direkter Energieaustausch unter dem allgegenwärtigen Blick aufzeichnender Augen. Die 
dieses Etwas ist ein untrennbarer Teil des fernen, unvergessenen, gefeierten Meisterwerks der guten Erde. Thank you. 